Welcome back to the RV Rundown. I'm your host, Barry, and I'm standing inside a 2021 Keystone Alpine 3650RL. This is a rear living coach built for couples and built with full-time use in mind. That means you could live out of this thing, and you absolutely could. It's got loads of residential amenities, and it feels like a little apartment on wheels. So, what have we got? I'm standing here in the back in the living room. It's huge. So much space, so much room for activities, one would say. We've got opposing slides that really open up the floor here. We have theater seating, and this theater seating is special because it has both heated seats and a little massage function, as well as USB ports for charging your phone, some cup holders, and a little bit of storage. That sits directly across from that entertainment center. The entertainment center itself features a nice large flat screen TV, built-in audio system with a head unit for DVD playing, and that big electric fireplace down there that doubles as an electric heater, helping offset some of the cost of propane in the winter. Behind me? we find that we have a big trifold sofa. When this pulls out, it's like a king bed. So sleeping a couple of guests is not gonna be a problem. On either side of it, they've done some really cool stuff. Check that out. That automatically charges your phone. It's wireless. I think that's a really cool feature just to have sitting right there by the couch. I would totally throw my phone on that at the end of the day. There's some storage up above for your knickknacks and odds and ends. And pushing out of here, we end up in our kitchen space. Again, beautiful, big, loads of space to do prep work. This is a huge island. It's got solid surface countertops, a giant dual basin stainless steel sink. Check that out with those solid surface covers there. Big sink wand there that's extendable. And then behind me, man, I just can't tout enough how residential all of this looks with the hood, the solid surface countertops, the larger than average oven and range. And then they do some other cool stuff too. So we have pantry space here above and below our convection oven. So up top, there's a little bit of space. One thing that I think is really neat though, is this right here. This is the appliance garage. So those open up, let me cut on a light back there. Notice that we have a plug and solid surface countertops. What does that mean for us? Well, that's a spot where we can put our coffee maker amongst other things that we would use on a daily basis that need to be plugged in and take up counter space that you just want hidden away. Down below that, there's even more storage. So, also in this kitchen, another thing that's really cool is that we have this big Samsung electric refrigerator. This thing is awesome. I'm talking huge. And it's got the big drawer freezer down below. For dining, they have not like slowed down in any small respect. We have this free floating table so there's no pedestal to knock your feet on. And this actually has an extension that comes with it. So this comes out as a leaf and it allows us to comfortably seat four people without any real issue there. The chairs themselves actually have a little bit of storage in them too. And then we've got this flush floor slide that this is all on and it does not have carpet in it. So that's gonna be pet and dander friendly. Behind me, right here at the entrance, we have a great massive coat closet. Now, if you didn't want to use that for a coat closet, if you were full time, it's got those washer dryer hookups so we can put a stackable washer dryer in. They've even cut away some storage space in there for odds and ends. Your control center mounted up right here. We have a touch pad and that's passcode protected and that's going to allow us to cut on lights, run slides, all of that good stuff. And there's an intervac system down low so we have a vacuum cleaner built into the fifth wheel. It comes with the kit that supports it. Heading up the stairs, notice how we have this awesome railing for grabbing onto and climbing up on the main deck. We're going to find our bathroom. The bathroom itself, I love this thing. It's big, it's spacious. Again, solid surface countertops, storage in the form of closet space up here for towels and odds and ends. And the shower surround is large and spacious. It has the seat. I'm a big fan of the seat. It's a great place to relax at the end of the day. And of course, for us tall guys, it's got the skylight so that it makes it easy to wash your hair. 
foot flush foot toilet is pretty standard, but there's plenty of room around it. That pass-through bathroom leads into this big old master bedroom. I like this a lot. It's very beautiful. The king bed is super easy to walk around, and it's got a padded headboard back here with his and her lights for reading at night without disturbing the other partner. That padded headboard makes it easy to sit up and watch TV at the end of the day. Now, speaking of the storage thing again, this room is full of it. So we've got chest of drawers, more drawer space, and they've even hidden away some storage here in the form of this seat. So there's a nice big drawer in behind that. And then that front cap hosts our giant automotive grade windshield. So that looks out, it does have a roller shade here so we can black that out if we need to. They've got some hidden storage up above the chest of drawers. And on either side of this, we've got our hanging closets. And as you can see, there's plenty of room for a hanger in there. So let's wrap it up. This thing is super residential and it's got all the touches you need to be full time. I hope you really enjoyed this tour of the 3650RL. Until next time, happy camping.